Good morning from Coventry. In the world of transport, you have the phrase heavy rail. This refers to your regular train service that you know and love and ride on all the time. You then have the phrase light rail, which typically refers to a tram system. This morning, however, in Coventry, I'm going for a ride on something new. This here is Coventry's very light rail system. The Coventry Very Light Rail System is a new type of tram system that is now being trialled. And I'm here today to see it up close and go for a ride. It can be delivered at half the cost and in half the time, that's much more quickly than a conventional light rail tram, and also includes a groundbreaking track system, which means it can be laid on roads and streets without disturbing existing utilities. And a 220 metre long test track section has been installed in under two months in Coventry city centre. And I'm getting on board as well as talking to people involved in the project to find out more. It's unlike any other tram out there, certainly of this, this size, we can, we can drive around a 15 metre curve at about 15 kilometres an hour. And if you've been on, on the tram in Dudley where we have actually got a prototype curve, it's, it's actually quite impressive. And it goes around pretty silently too. The main technical aspect that allows us to do that is the bogey design. The bogey is the technical part of this vehicle. It's, it is the uh, entrepreneurial side of the bit. This, there are four motors, one motor per axle, and that's essentially what gives us the ability to run, run around a 15 metre curve at speed. Now I'm not sure if to call it a tram or a tram car or car or carriage, but I do find out that seated and standing it can carry up to 60 passengers and yes there's an accessible area too. And the whole vehicle is of course battery powered. Again this means less costs involved because there's no installation of overhead wires or electrics. And the range before full recharge is needed is around 70 kilometres. We're about to head off for a test ride in a second. Justin was just telling me there's two batteries underneath. You've got the bogies at either end, the metal wheels with flanges, the battery either in the wheel and then like a battery system in the middle. I know there's a cab either end so it can be driven uh, from either end and um, it's been raining this morning, the weather's not been great but now the sun's come out and it's cleared up we're going to go for a little, uh, just a little back and forth, just a little shuttle test ride up and down. And it's just 220 metres of test track here this morning, so we're going to do a, a few simple trips up and down. So it's about this point in a video for a new train, bus or tram that I'd be showing you a map for you to see where the system runs. But this really is just a 220 metre long length of test track in the middle of Coventry. But for map's sake, we're starting in Greyfriars Road and it's going around the corner to Queen Victoria Road, where we'll reverse and come back again. All right, time to go for a quick trip. The vehicle weighs just 8 tonnes compared to 20 for a conventional tram, thus earning its very light rail tag and includes composite body panels made from recycled carbon. The ride is smooth, quiet and speedy and I'm already starting to wonder if this is a success here in Coventry, what other towns and cities could also benefit from a similar system. Whereas traditional light rail schemes can cost upwards of 25 million per kilometre in suburban locations, the Coventry Very Light Rail aims to deliver all the benefits of a modern light rail solution, but at a fraction of the cost. We've been taking some uh, shots of it driving past. Oh, I don't want to get in this person's way. Taking a picture as a chap there called Anthony. I want to, want to bring you in, Anthony, because I've um, been chatting to some other people. Apparently, this doesn't have a name yet, right? Because I keep thinking, like, in Stourbridge, you have the Parry People Mover. Sure. But at the moment you're just calling it the very light rail unit. It must have a name or like a number or no? Is it no, no it, it hasn't. <laughs> so we've been asking for quite some time how we name it and maybe um, this event could uh, could lead to some good ideas. It needs a name. Yeah. <laughs> I want to call it something. I can't just call it the VLR. Back on board, I realise I can sit and check out the driver's seat. They're doing interviews down that end, so I'm sat in the driver's cab here. It's a left-hand control, I can see it saying traction, coast, brake, stop, obviously. A whole range of buttons in the middle, is that like to do, that pertains to the battery information, I would imagine. It, 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 well, it contains a lot of information. There's a lot of information, but I can see here there's obviously a battery. battery, and there's two CCTVs. Why, why are there two? There's a CCTV here, and oh, front-facing. Rear, oh, the sides. So they are your wing mirrors. They're the wing mirrors. Got it. Okay. Maintenance off drive. Okay. Okay. Is that a little PA? Is it kind of, can I do a little like? What can I say? That'd be hilarious. You need a name. <laughs> what? Well, we CDR. It needs a name. What can, what can we call it? You see, there's like a little partition here. This bit of glass. 
they've taken this out for this unit but normally that would be a partition so the driver would be separate from the rest of the I want to say are you calling it saloon. a train saloon, saloon cab car cab saloon, cab it, saloon. It, it needs new names everywhere doesn't it it does need new names everywhere it's a tram that's not a tram but is is a tram it's fascinating So let's find out why CVLR is different as we talk to Chris about the track installation. So basically what we're trying to do is, is disturb the city as least as possible during the construction and delivery of these and be as quick as possible. So what you're seeing um, uh, here, it looks like practically any other embedded um, track in any other city, right? You're seeing the, the top of the grooved rail and it being embedded in an asphalt pavement. The total track system is 26 centimeters deep. We allow for 30 centimeters construction dig depth. So essentially to build this, we came with a normal highway milling machine. We milled the highway down to minus 30 centimeters from existing top. And then we started the construction from that um, uh, um, plane upwards without creating a foundation. And that is the principal differentiator between this and most other track systems. We do not need to build a, a um, a high bearing capacity foundation to start with. The, the slabs themselves have been designed with enough flexural strength to be able to survive and live on whatever we find when we dig 30 centimetres. Now next, Coventry City Council want to construct a further 800 metre demonstrator route between Coventry Station that goes to the National Transport Design Centre and then the Technology Park. And that will become part of the UK's showcase for the ITS World Congress in October 2027. But in the long term, they obviously want to use it to connect people to jobs, education and healthcare, which means that Coventry City Centre could be connected to the hospital, the West Midlands Investment Area and Coventry Arena. These would all be excellent places that this system could run to. And I asked the local councillor if other cities were interested too. Well, other, other cities and regions are doing exactly that. We're talking to a number of them because there's a lot of regions are saying, well, we want, you know, we want some form of tram system. But then they start looking at the costs and suddenly thinking, well, I'm not sure we're going to get all the public finance to make that happen. And we've got a system here that we reckon we can do for 10 million a kilometre and makes it affordable for cities and towns the size of Coventry going forward. And suddenly the taxpayer is saying we've got value for money here. And so obviously with the event over, that's the time that the weather chooses to stop raining and the sun comes out. Uh, my thanks to everyone at Coventry City Council this morning. That is the very light rail system there. Moving away, expect the project to pick up pace to be here soon in Coventry and who knows what other cities around the country soon and in the future. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.